40 years, the locals of Lang Lang have been hearing strange, roaring sounds. Sharp, squealing screams. And at night, seeing lights cross the horizon at incredible speeds. Outside of town, there's a top security facility that tests secret weapons, like Victoria's Area 51. But here, you won't find ET, just HSV. This is Holden's proving ground, and they jealously guard their secrets. Spies have been caught trying to photograph their new vehicle tests. Here we go. So I'm surprised they let me in. Not a good shot, I know. Didn't think I'd have to get that checked till I was 40. Maybe you shouldn't have worn the blue shirt. The high security, high colonic was worth it because I'm going to be let loose on the track in the fastest, most powerful car ever built in Australia, the W427. Two decades in the making, two years to complete. This is a serious car for serious enthusiasts. 427 cubic inches is seven litres, for those of us who don't remember black and white telly. The 375 kilowatt V8 comes from the Corvette Z06, and then it's amped up beyond supercar status. This car subscribes to the Barry Hall School of Muscle and the Barry Hall School of Interior Decorating. Now, this is the bit I've really been looking forward to. It's the 5K high speed bowl, and I'm in the fastest hole in ever made. show you a really neat little trick. Doing 165 k's an hour in the top lane here and because the banking is parabolic you can do that. How cool is that? That's actually quite freaky, not cool. 165. Actually, cruise control on. There you go. Oh, rotus position at 165 k's an hour. That's neat. Actually, I could probably just jump in the back. Go for a bit of a snooze. Instead, I put my hands back on the wheel to see how fast this beast can really run. 375 kilowatts. Love it. $2 in a fair 53 litres per hundred, so it's using more than a F-18 jet fighter. <laughs> As the speedo crept towards 250, something went wrong. Was this about to become my worst nightmare? 240 pop, come on. What was that? Holy cow, that scared the crap out of me. It was the antenna on the back, <laughs> flapping around on the roof. That's not a good design. Come on, where's 250? 248? Come on. Come on. 250. <laughs> Actually, there's over 44 k's of test track here designed to throw the worst Aussie road conditions at every Holden. Now, no one that buys a $150,000 HSV is actually going to want to know what it's like on dirt, but I don't care. It's here and we're going to use it. <laughs> Let's try this one. <laughs> oh, oh. 
big dip, big dip, big dip. Oh. <laughs> Lucky this thing's got to drive some of the high G forces. Big fish tails are important. Now they've asked me if there's anything else I'd like to do with this car before I hand it back. And that's why we're here at the skid pan. Because whenever I have a muscle car, I like to do a bit of baking. Step one, preheat to 200 degrees. Step two, add some tyre granules. For step three, I don't add milk and sugar because when I make donuts, I use water. Lots and lots of water. There you are, instant donuts. I love cooking. I could do this all day. Red leather interior. I absolutely love this car. A few years ago, everyone was buying V8s, SS's, XR8s, and the like. So they're a bit common. Now that the petrol price has gone through the roof, they're becoming rarer, which means they become even more special. 